I'm making my toasted coconut and lime tres leches cake, which is sweet and milky and has kind of a pudding-like texture. Tres leches cake is one of my favorite Mexican desserts. The first time I made it, I could not stop eating it. To get started, I'm toasting my coconut and it's making it smell so good in here. It can burn quite quickly. So now that it's brown, I'm gonna get it off the heat. And now I'm gonna mix up my dry ingredients. I'll add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon will give it really nice warmth. And I'll whisk to combine. I'll set my dry mixture aside and separate six large eggs, taking care not to get any yolk into the egg white mixture because even the tiniest speck of yolk can prevent the egg whites from beating up. I've got all my egg whites in the bowl. I'll beat them until they're foamy. Now that they're foamy, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of sugar. And this sugar will help them stabilize as they continue to beat up. The egg whites are fluffy and they're holding their peaks. That's exactly what I want. This is gonna help the cake be extra airy. I'll transfer the egg whites back into their bowl. And now I'll add my yolks, which will add great richness. And I'll add three quarters of a cup of sugar and beat these together until they're pale and fluffy. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. The vanilla complements all the other flavors in the cake. I'll add the zest of a lime. Lime and coconut together are a total party. I'll add half a cup of whole milk and one cup of my toasted coconut will add next level toastiness and nuttiness. And then I can add my dry ingredients and mix until it's just combined. I don't wanna overmix it. And now I wanna incorporate my egg whites, but I don't wanna deflate all of the air that I just beat into them. So I wanna gently fold them into the yolk mixture. Batter's looking good. Smelling the cinnamon. Let me grab my baking pan. I've got this super cute pan that's been greased. And the sides are pretty deep because there has to be room for the tres leches mixture. So I'll pour in my batter. I'll stick this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes until a toothpick stuck into the center comes out clean. I can smell that coconut. It is golden brown and beautiful. I'm gonna let this cool now while I put together my tres leches mixture. So these are my three milks because tres leches means three milks in Spanish and they're gonna make the texture of the cake so creamy and dreamy. I'll start with a half cup of whole milk, a can of sweetened condensed milk, which is sticky and sweet and slightly caramelized. And lastly, some evaporated milk, which is just milk that has some water taken out of it. So it's more intensely milky. All right, let me whisk this up. Now, before I pour this onto the cake, I wanna poke some holes in it to allow some space for the milk to go. I wanna make a lot of holes so that the milk can soak into every part of the cake. I'm ready for the tres leches. I'll pour this all over and let it soak away. I'll let this sit for a few hours in the fridge, or you can go overnight. Soak well, my friend. My cake has soaked up all the milky goodness, and now I'm ready to decorate. I'll coat the top in lightly sweetened whipped cream, some toasted coconut for texture, a little lime zest, and lastly, a few well-placed taco sprinkles. I can't believe these are sprinkles. Yay! This tres leche looks to die for.